So hi, this is Tina Frazier coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. I'm coming to you with a bit of an unboxing video. Now, I filmed this last night on April 15th, um, and I had some glitches with my, my video camera and uh, a couple other things going on. So the video kind of splits up, and it ended up being about an hour and a half. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and... Um, record this and upload it as one long video. I don't apologize for the length of it. It just happens to be how much it is, how long it was. Um, the unboxing also includes inventory um, because the inventory was actually quite, quite good on this one. So I will actually put in breaks um, between the two unboxings and the um, the inventory for the um, one that's not a Diamond Dots kit for you so you can pause and fast forward and stuff but just be aware this video is about an hour and a half long um i don't apologize for any of the errors and any of the omissions i'm not really editing this video um i will put the links to the um places that i ordered the diamond art kits the diamond uh painting kits from um one of them is a diamond dots kit and it's listed as an expert kit i haven't seen them anywhere in michael's so you have to go online to find them it's one that stitcherista unboxed on her channel not that long ago and um anyway so hopefully you'll enjoy this unboxing it's a little long longer than some of the videos that you've seen it's not really a drill with me um and hopefully you don't mind my chattering away at you in the um in the video but anyway, I just wanted to give you a little quick introduction, um, and hopefully you can make it through. Like I said, I'm going to split it up into sections, and um, that way you can kind of fast forward through some of the parts that you don't necessarily want to see. All right, so that being said, here is my video that I recorded last night. The two unboxings from uh, the two stores. I have a Diamond Dots kit and just a regular diamond painting kit. Hope you enjoy them. Hi, this is Tina Frazier coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. Today is Monday, April 15th at approximately 8.51 p.m. Eastern Time. Today's tax day, y'all. If you haven't got your taxes done and you live on the East Coast, you only have about two hours and three hours and ten minutes left to do your taxes. Taxes are due at midnight. Better get your taxes in. I luckily have finished my taxes. We did our taxes a couple weeks ago. I already got the refund, so everything's going good. Um, coming to you tonight with an unboxing video. I'm going to move this really quick. Actually, I will just kind of pick this up and show you. I have an unboxing for you today. So I'm going to change my camera angle and get ready and show you my unboxing. I can't remember exactly where I ordered this stuff from. Um, I'll have to find that out before I actually start the video, but this is an unboxing video for you today. I hope you like it and hopefully I'll like it too. <laughs> All right, let me um, go ahead and stop, uh, pause this video and rearrange some things, get, a, get some information for you, and I will be right back. Okay, so hi everybody. I have to apologize. I had originally um, recorded the um, the opening of the bigger box that I had that has the second diamond painting in that I will show you after this one. But um, I'm really excited about showing you that one, so I'm actually going to hold off um, and show you that one second. But um, I'm going to kind of move the camera over here. You can see the big box for it is standing up to the... Um, right of the coca-cola um containers or uh 12 packs but anyway so this is um sorry if i'm adjusting the camera too much for you but this is the next one i got um or the first one that i'm going to open for you tonight so this is a diamond painting that i ordered from moon zero on aliexpress it was actually um, the Hater Store, H-I-H-A-I-D-R, the Hater Store on AliExpress. And this one is listed as a Big Eyes Girl, or in this case, it is Jasmine Beckett Griffiths, The Bride Returns from the Haunted Mansion. It's a Disney ride. 
Um, I really like Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I have quite a few of her cross-stitch patterns. And um, this is one that I haven't seen in cross-stitch yet because it's technically a Disney pattern, but I ordered it um, I ordered it on AliExpress because I really liked it. Um, so I placed the order for this on 328.19. It was delivered on 415.19, so that's approximately what about three weeks, two to three weeks, which isn't too bad coming from um, China. Um, anyway, I ordered the 60 by 80 square size on this. So this is the box that it came in. As you can see, it's kind of wrapped up in um, basically like the typical, typical um, kind of garbage bag thing. The box has a little bit of bending right in here. Um, otherwise, the box looks to be in pretty good shape. Um, it's taped up really well, you know, everything like that. I don't really care if you see the shipping um, information because that, that's actually my husband's work location. But uh, anyway, so we shall get in um, into this diamond painting. All right, I'm not sure where to start to do this. All right, I'll just kind of start here and I will kind of cut, cut down this way. <laughs> Just kind of running my scissors along there. All right, so we have the box. I'm not gonna be able to get through the tape, so I will do that. Get this end out, and voila, that can just go over there for now. All righty, so we have fashion diamond painting fashion DIY diamond painting it's a pretty box this end is kind of squished you can see the end is pretty squished right there um, looks like a little bit of an accordion style it is open so that is the side we're gonna do um, all right so here goes so we open it up so the first thing you see right off the bat, you see the, the diamonds, and you see that the painting is wrapped around a foam roller. And it's actually a pretty big foam roller, so that's actually kind of exciting. I'm looking forward to that. So we will pull out the drills. So here are the drills. And it comes with an inventory sheet, which I'm really excited for. Um, look at those colors. Those colors are beautiful. There's another set of diamonds in there. So I will pull the canvas out. So we have the canvas, and we have more diamonds. So there's two packs of diamonds, and a <laughs> third pack of diamonds. So I have a lot of diamonds. There is the drill or the kit. It's kind of poked. The pen is poked through, and here's another little piece of a foam roller which I don't know what to do with that. I'll just put that aside for now. But anyway, so the box, as you can see, the box is pretty empty. So this is what I have. So we have the diamond painting cross stitch. It is taped right here. It has the opaque cover. But the um, that foam roller is actually really nice. It goes the full length of the diamond painting, as you can see. Um, it seems to be rather nice. I'm actually really impressed with it. So here is the thumbnail for the diamond painting. Come on. I don't know if it'll... There we go. It's called The Bride Returns. So, I am going to set this aside over here for now while I take a look at the inventory sheet for you. So, we have the tool kit. Comes with two plates of wax a uh, drill pen with a three placer on it um, a pair of the inexpensive bent tweezers that aren't very good but that, that might come in handy for something later we have some baggies and two plates of wax and a white boat with a funnel I already have a couple of these but we have the white boat with funnel and uh, that is the tool kit there's another little plate of wax in there plus this little bigger plate of wax so, typical tool kit. <clears throat> Alrighty. 
So now we get into the drills. So we have one packet of drills. Look at those purples, you guys. You may not be able to see that, but there's some pretty purples in there. There's some light flesh tone colors and some blues and some dark ones. 3865s right in there. There's another pack of drills. And here's the third. Oh, look at these big bags, you guys. Look at these big bags. Big bags of drills. Oh my goodness. It's a beautiful, like, aqua color right there. You're not going to be able to see these. I don't know if turning on the light might make it better. No. It kind of washes it out. But I will turn that back off because I actually kind of like this light better. All right, so there's the inventory sheet. I will figure out how to get in there. If you don't like crinkling, turn your volume down. As I figure this out, there we go. So we have the, oh, look at all those blues, you guys. Those are blue blues. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell. Look at, look at those blues. Oh my heavens, and grays. Wow. All right, so this is my diamond painting cross stitch. It's 60 by 80. The inventory has been checked off by somebody, as you can see. There are 50 colors in here. There is kind of an odd check mark by 50 by color number 18, 775. 775. I don't know if you can see that. Where is it? 775. Kind of right where my thumb is. There is a weird mark by that. I'm not sure what that means. I'm going to have to check that and do inventory. Um, but anyway, so here is a bigger picture of what the bride returns looks like. I'm really excited to do this one. And um, they include instructions on your kit or on the um, paper. Um, but here's the inventory list. It tells you the um, symbol on your chart, the DMC color number, how many bags you have, and how many drills you should have for the, for the piece. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see that very well. There we go. All right. So, <clears throat> I will do a quick inventory um, after I show you the um, the canvas. So let me get um, the diamonds out of the way. There are three bags of diamonds for this. This is huge, you guys. Um, yeah. Over there for now. Hopefully they won't fall. All right. So we're going to actually kind of get into the canvas now. It's on a foam roller. It's on foam rollers, you can see. So it says diamond painting cross stitch. All right. So we shall get into this and see. Do, do, do. There we go. Now hopefully I can pull the tape off. Oh, this is a nice tape. It's not super sticky. Um, it's a nice tape, though. It's not real sticky. comes off real easy. tears really easy, too. All right. Okay. So, as we've seen, you have the... Um, you have the uh, legend over on this end, okay? On the top, the top right. So I'm just kind of unrolling this to see. I'm kind of drape it across my table. All right. So it looks like you only have the one um, legend on this canvas. So I shall do this. So I am going to, this canvas looks pristine though, you guys. Holy moly. 
might be some issues there. Maybe, maybe not. I will show you the back. Look how pristine this canvas looks, though. Oh my god. This is gorgeous. You can see where, you can see the, um, the bend or the crease where the glue, the glue is placed. Um, this is the double-sided glue. It's not the poured glue. But, oh my god, you guys. Look how pristine this canvas is. I am so happy. Oh my god. Okay. So now I get to roll it up. And we shall kind of do this. I'm trying to do this on a small TV tray. So we shall see how this works. Alright. So... Okay, so looking here, looking down here at this corner, so the glue on this, um, and this is two half sheets of paper. Oh my god. So you can see here, you can see the first spider, the bottom of her dress. Oh my god, you guys, this is going to be amazing. There's a second spider on her dress. Oh my god, you guys. This is going to be so amazing. Oh my god. Seriously? Seriously? Oh my god. Okay. So, you can see this is the bottom of her dress. So, this is going to... It's taller rather than wider. Oh my god, you guys. I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm excited for this one. Oh, jeez. And I'll probably end up ordering some more of these because they had some more of them, of her um, artwork online. Oh my god, you guys. I'm like so impressed by this so far. So, it's going to go ahead and lay it. Now this, uh, this tackiness actually comes down a little below the design area, but that's not so bad. I can live with that. With how pristine this canvas is, oh my word. Are you kidding? Oh my word. This canvas is pristine, you guys. So pristine. So, so, so pristine. Oh, my word. All right. So, get this flattened out. Get this other side ready for you. All right. This is the bottom, the other side of the bottom of her dress. Oh my god, you guys. Look at this. Oh my god. And here's the hatchet. She's holding that. You can see the hatchet right here. She's holding the hatchet. Oh my god. This is so exciting, you guys. This is really exciting. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am going to be excited to do this one. I may actually have to, like, change my plans and do this one before I do something else. Because, oh my god, this diamond painting is, like, amazing. And again, um, I don't know if you can see, but, um, I don't know if you can tell, but the um, glue actually does come beyond the um, the two-sided sticky tape. You can kind of see the um, reflection of it there. It does come beyond the um, diamond painting some. The actual painting area. 
but this is a square drill so you can see her veil and her eye and there's the hatchet so here's her eye and you can see her veil <laughs> oh my god I'm excited for this oh my god I'm so excited for this and then when I pull out the next section to flatten this out some I will show you the um, I will show you the uh, drill field because the drill field is really really clear on this you guys and then I will have to take it and um, lay it out and get the bubbles and stuff out of it for you. But this this canvas is pristine. It is pristine, you guys, pristine. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Um, this way. Okay, well there's some um looks like there's some some rivering. So it's not quite as pristine as I had hoped. Um but it I don't know if it uh, there's there's a couple of um Okay, there's a couple of blemishes actually right down in here. I don't know if you're going to be, you, you might be able to see them kind of in this light. But you can see like here, there's a little bit of a, of a blemish in the glue, a little bit of a wrinkle. Um, I'm actually going to take my pen here that I got in the kit. and see if I can get those out but for as pristine as the rest of it looks you guys I am not going to be too upset because the rest of this is really really pristine So when I go to diamond paint this, I'll have to I'll have to treat these little areas here. Just to make sure that I've gotten everything out of them. is still really tacky so I will have to kind of work on these a little bit this goes all the way up there's a couple of little rivers yeah you can't see them on the back but it looks like there's maybe bubbles it may be more like bubbles where the glue just hasn't laid f completely flat. Yeah. So, this is going back on the foam roller though. But, yeah. So, it's a little bit kind of over here. Kind of over here. It's not too bad though. But 
This canvas is really nice, you guys. I'm actually really impressed with it. I'm really happy for um, for this size canvas to come out like this. I'm really, 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 really kind of happy. So, yeah. So there's the back again. Let's come over here. You can sort of see where some of the bubbling might be, but it isn't too bad. And there is, looks like there might be just a little overlap of the glue right in the middle. But other than that, I think this canvas turned out really well. I'm actually really happy with it. So yeah, it is a 60 by 80. I don't have a ruler or a measuring tape to measure for you, but... Um, Anyway, this will be actually going back on the foam roller and uh, put into storage until I get ready to do it. So, Yeah, I'm excited for this, you guys. Sorry about that. Um, I got I went quiet for a minute. All right, so we're actually going to put this back on the foam roller and get this set aside so I can get the other one for you, so I can open the other one for you. This is really nice. I'm actually really great, really excited for this one, you guys. All right. So here we go. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to hang this one back up in my other room with my other diamond painting that I have um, that is up already and hung up because I kind of want to keep this one as uh, nice as the other one. So, yeah. Let's try to Smooth it out. I'm just trying to get it smoothed out a little bit better for you. All right, There's a couple of air bubbles. I can feel on the back.
right, so we have the um, the bride, and it actually goes this way. So it is rather long. It's this this long for you. So it's rather long painting. All right, so. Uh, give me just a minute. I'm going to go hang this up and I will be right back. Alright, so hi everyone. This is just the inventory for the um, Bride Returns diamond painting that I just unboxed for you. So we are actually going to go through these and figure them out. I'm probably going to end up. Um, Sorry, not sorry for the crinkling, but I'm probably going to end up just putting all of the drills in probably one of these bags because I think they'll fit. Um, Alright. So, let me get out my pen. Do to do. I don't know if this will make it into the video or not, but if it does, great. If not, great. So, we have. Um, Color number 3865, 3865, which is um, the last color. We should have seven bags. It says seven bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags. We have eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8 so I will write 8 bags next to it we have 8 bags and it's checked okay 3865 we have 8 this next one we have um, I'm going to actually turn the light on for this because this is going to make it a little easier for me to read we have color number Three four zero. The numbers on these are a little hard to read, but we have color number three four zero. Three four zero. We should have seven bags. One two three four five six seven. This one we have seven bags. Seven bags. Eight. Okay. Alright, so then we have color number 758, 758, 758, it says we should have two, we have three, three bags of 758, checking them off on this side, go ahead and check it off on that side, so I'll put the number of bags that I counted here, and then um, check it off on the other sides. We have three bags there. All right, this is color number. Nine, two, six. Nine, two, eight. No, eight, two, six. Color number. You can, eight, two, six. We get down to a different one. Maybe you can see a little better. So the numbers numbering on this is a little off. 826. 826, we should have 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 826, I count 15. This is number 932, 932, 932, we should have 
I'm going to put that aside because I don't have 21 bags out here now. Um, we have color number 3825, 3825, 3825, we should have one bag, I just confirm we have one bag. Eight oh nine, eight oh nine, or six oh eight. So we have an eight oh nine, but we don't have a six oh eight. So this is color number eight oh nine. Eight oh nine says we should have six bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight oh nine. We have seven bags. You guys, I'm kind of liking this so far. So far, they've given me extra on quite a bit of the colors that I've, I've checked. All right, we have 833. 833. 833, it says we should have one bag. We have one bag. Okay. But we only need 126 drills, and there should be about 200 in there. The same goes for 3825. We should have, um, we need 180 drills. There's about 200 in the bag. That one could be kind of close. We'll, sh we'll see when we get down to it. All right. So the next color, it's a long strip. This one's going to be hard to see because the drills are dark. So it looks like this is 939 or 636. It's either 939 or 636. So there is no 636. There is a 939. So this is 939. Yep. I don't know if you can see it on there or not. 939. We should have 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I did count thirteen. It's about twenty six hundred drills. So there we go. We have color number. I really wish they would make these white or put them in different baggies because these are really hard to see. This is 803. I don't know if you can see that. 803. You're not going to be able to see that. I can make it out. 803. There's not a 308. Nope. 803. Five bags. One, two, three, four, five. We have five bags of 803. Mm hmm. This one is easy to see. This is color number 797. You can see right there, 797. 797, we should have 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 bags. 16 bags of 797. Next color is 796. 796. You should have 11 bags. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 bags of 796, which we do. I said I was going to do 932s later. We have 834, 834, 834, you should have three bags. There are three bags there. We have number 823, 823, 823. Should have seven bags. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags of 823. This one's really easy. This is color number 819. Not 618. There is no 618. This is color number 819. This is a flesh color. 819, we should have 14 bags. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 bags of 819. all in one big bag. I'm not sure why they didn't. Get into some of the 210 purples, you guys. 210 purples. And there are there are actually no loose drills in here that I'm seeing, so this is good. Alright, so the next color is 160. Can you see that? 160? 160. One six zero. One sixty, we should have ten bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten bags of one sixty. Do to do. Ten bags of one sixty. Uh two two five. Two bags. Two bags. Seven two nine. One bag. Only need a hundred and fifty drills. Color number four four four. You can kinda see that. Four four four. Four four four. One bag should be plenty. We only need 59 drills of that color. Um, these drills are actually looking pretty good. I'm not seeing seeing any oil. 642, color number 642. One bag. Color number 155. 155. Three bags, we have three bags. Color number 210, it's purple. We should have five bags. One, two, three, four, five bags. Color number 647. 647. It's not 847. We don't have an 847. 647. We should have four bags and we have four bags. So we have color number 794. 794. We should have 18 bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen bags. Eighteen bags. Seven, nine, four, eighteen. Six four eight. Six four eight. Color six four eight. 
We should have 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Let me double count that again. Seventeen, eighteen, eighteen bags. We have eighteen bags of six, four, eight. <sighs> Color three zero one two, three zero one two, three zero one two. We should have one bag for ninety nine drills. And we do. Color five thirty five. Five thirty five, we should have five bags. One, two, there's a straggler. Look at that. A blue, there's a blue in there. Two, three, four, five, six. We have six five thirty fives. This is color number 414, 414, 414, we should have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight bags of 414. So far, they seem to be giving me extra bags, which is good. Color number 371. 371 has one bag. We only need 49 drills. That's a good thing. Okay. Color number 3843. 3843. We need 184 drills. We only have one bag. That might be a little close. All right. 333, three, three, either way you look at it. 333, three, three. either way you look at it, 333. Three, three. I'm supposed to have 14 bags. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 33, three, three. 14 bags. Okay, so we're down to our last one, and this is the one that has, this is the um, bag with the inventory sheet and the extra big bags of drills. So we shall see what, what we have. So over here, we have 3845, 3845, here's my pen, 3845, says we should have three bags, and we do. Thirty-eight forty-six. Thirty-eight forty-six says we should have eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have eleven bags at thirty-eight forty-six. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven forty-six. 3746, we should have seven bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bags, 3746. 3042. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We get to these bags in a minute. Bag of three ten. Okay. 
Okay, we have a bag of 3883, no, 3863, one bag. 3045. One bag. Thirty-eight fifty-four. Thirty-eight fifty-four. Yeah, it says we should have one bag, but they gave us two. So I will mark down two bags. Nine seventy-two. It says we need one bag. We have one bag. These 37 3774. We should have five. One, two, three, four, five. We have five. 3774. God, I hate it. Okay. So this is a 3842. 3842. 3842, it says we should have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight. 3842. This one. 995. Nine ninety five. Nine ninety five. It says we should have five. One, two, three, four, five. We have five. Thirty-eight forty-four. It says we should have three, and we do. Okay. Next color is 3072, 3072. 3072 says we should have 17 bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. We have eighteen bags of 3072. We have 3363. 3363 says we should have two. 640. We should have one bag, which we do. 6.40. All right, so now we're kind of into the big. So 9.32s. 9.32 says we should have 21 bags. Okay, so we have 9.32s. These are two strips of 9.32s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we have 24 bags of 932. 24 932. So they gave us more, more 932s. Okay, so that's good. We got extras of stuff. We have extras of stuff. All right, now we get into these four bags. We have the four bags, the four big bags. All right, so this one should be 800. And it says here, the 800 is 38 bags or 74, 7,472. So we have one huge bag of 800. So I'm going to put large bag and mark it off this way. 800. Okay. So then we're going to do the bag of three tens. So the three tens is only about half of what they gave me of the 800s. I need 74, 72 of the 800s and only uh, 48, 69 of the three tens. So that's why the bags look less full. All right, uh, so three tens, we have a one bag. And we'll just assume that there's enough three tens. All right, look, this aqua pretty, this aqua color. The um, camera is not doing this justice. I don't know if I can turn it off and you can get a better sense of the color. Sorta, oh my God, this aqua color is beautiful. So this is color 775. It says we have, should have 30 bags or 5,864. There is more in here than in the black bag, but not as much as in the, um, as in the 800, 775. This is probably my favorite color. So we're gonna say large bag and be done with it. And then we have one more color, 3747, okay. 3747 comes in a smaller bag, but there's less in here than there is in the black. So the black came in a bigger bag, but there's less in this little bag than in the black bag. So 3747, we have one bag. One bag, 3747. And as you can see, all my colors are accounted for. All my colors are accounted for. And some of them, I even have one or two more bags, extra bags. Um, so out of the colors I got, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of the colors, they sent extra bags. So that is actually really nice. So I should have um, some extra drills left over from this. This aqua color, 775, this aqua color is beautiful. It's probably my favorite color right now. Um, from what I can tell, the drills actually look really nice. Um, I didn't really notice any oily ones, but I probably won't know that until I go to kit this up and get it ready for diamond painting. Um, I need to order more of those bead storage systems, you guys. I'm probably looking at needing like four or five more. So, yeah, it's going to be a crazy craziness around here. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, um... I'll probably start, look at starting my other Jasmine one, um, the Jasmine Beckett Griffith Windswept Fairy one pretty soon. Um, but uh, yeah, so, um, so what, this, what you have. So all of, all, everything's accounted for. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, write this up on AliExpress that I received it. Everything's cool. The inventory looks cool. Everything came really pleased with the uh, canvas on this. It looks pretty pristine. Um, I have it rolled up in the other room. I couldn't hang it on the hanger that I was hoping to because um, it kept falling off with the other diamond painting that's up there. So I'm going to have to figure something out. But I have a, 
have them both rolled together because they're both the Jasmine Beckett Griffith ones. I have them rolled together on a pool noodle, so um, hopefully they'll stay that way. But I need to pack up the drills and then um, get ready to unbox the other one. So let me pack up the drills and I'll be right back. Thanks. All right, hi again. So I actually have the bagged, bagged and labeled with the inventory sheet in here. Everything's in here. It all fits into one bag, which is kind of nice because it'll just go on my shelf um, where the other diamond painting um, stuff is. So this is, as I said, this is from Moon Zero and AliExpress. This is from Moon Zero and AliExpress. It came from the Hader store. This is also known as Big Eyes Girl or Jasmine Beckett Griffiths, The Bride Returns from the Haunted Mansion. I ordered this on 328. It was delivered for 1519. Everything's accounted for in inventory today on 41519. I paid 3811 for it. It's a 60 by 80 square, 50 color diamond painting. I didn't measure to see if the 60 by 80 was actually the canvas size or the diamond painting area. But anyway, if you're interested, this is what it looks like. That is what it looks like. Um, so, there you go. Um, I'm getting ready to do the um, uh, other diamond painting next that I got tonight too. So just bear with me and I will be right back. So hey everybody, it's me again. I'm coming to you with my second unboxing for tonight. So here is the box that I got. This is from Diamond Dots. Um, don't know how to show you without doing this. There we go. Have to get something out of my way. All right, so this is Diamond Dots. Um, you can probably see part of the box. So I'm just gonna show you, there's the Diamond Dots thing. And I got the Dragon Princess. Come on, focus. Focus. It's not gonna focus there. Oh, it just did. There's the Dragon Princess. Oh, come on, focus again. It's not gonna focus. I got the Diamond Dots Dragon Princess, you guys. Here is the lovely box. I'm going to actually zoom out back out for you for this. There we go. Dragon Princess. She is beautiful. I saw Stitcherista unbox this. Um, this is a Diamond Dots kit. I saw her unbox this um, a week or two ago, a couple weeks ago, and I placed my order for it. So I have the, the information for you. All right. So... I ordered this Diamond Dots kit from Discount Bandit. Um, I gotta go ahead and back back out. All right, so I ordered it from Discount Bandit. I paid about sixty-five dollars for it. It shipped from Save Dollar Stores in Delaware, United States, in the state of Delaware, in the United States. Um, Discount Bandit, I think, is kind of like. Um, kind of like an AliExpress shop where they try and find um, find a seller that will ship it to you. But mine came from the Saved Dollar Store, Saved Dollar Stores. Um, it's SavedDollarStores.com in Delaware, United States. In the state of Delaware, United States. This is the Dragon Princess by Diamond Dots. It retails for $94.50 on NeedleArtWorld.com. The design is 33 and a half by 26.4 inches or 85 by 67 centimeters. The canvas is 36.9 by 29 and a half inches or 93 by 75 centimeters. It is a partial coverage. Let me kind of scroll the box down so you can see. Her face is not drilled. Also the background is not drilled. You can see here. This shows you the actual design area. Come on, focus. Flip this over, maybe it'll focus. Focus. Now it's not gonna wanna focus, but there we go. So the design area, it shows, it shows the entire canvas, including the background. And this 
is the drill area. So basically you're only drilling the dress and the headpiece and the um, rocky outcrop that she is standing on and some of the dragon's body behind her. So you're drilling probably two thirds of the um, thing. There are 32 colors in this kit. 36,091 dots. 32 colors, 36,091 dots in this kit. This is Diamond Dots Dragon Princess. Diamond Dots all-inclusive diamond facet art. Now, Diamond Dots is usually sold in Joann's and Michael's and some of the other craft, big box craft stores. But this Diamond Dots kit, I actually had to go online and find um, because my Michael's and Joann's and everything do not carry this these super large kits. This is considered an ex advanced expert kit. As you can see here, it's listed as advanced expert. Um, most diamond paint, diamond dots kits in the stores only go up to like intermediate. They have beginner, advanced, and intermediate. Um, advanced expert, um, I haven't seen in any stores. So I had to go online to get this. And I went online to look for prices because Stitcherista said that when she went to look for it, it was $99, but she did not pay $99. So I found it on Discount Bandit for s about 65 bucks. It retails on needleartworld.com for $94.50. So yeah. So here goes the unboxing for you. Um, let me go ahead and make sure I am zoomed out. So you have the nice diamond dots box. This was the one that came in the bigger box that I showed you earlier. Um, it had some um, packing paper kind of scrunched up with it. So it was in the box all by its in this larger box for shipping all by itself. So the box is pretty, pretty well pristine. The only thing that um, isn't so pristine is the little hanger tag that's right here, as you can see. But that is how I'm actually going to open the box. So we shall open the box like this. And I will move this out of the way. It's a pretty large box. And they have it taped per their usual to keep people from opening it. So we have the box open. So this is how you will see it in the box. So you have your canvas right there. And your drills are down there in the netherworld. You can kind of sort of half see them down there. All right, so here we go. So there is drill packet one. There is the canvas. Ooh, it's a big canvas. And there is nothing else in the box. There is your kit. Okay. As you can see, Diamond Dots, much like Diamond Art Club, um, Diamond Dots canvases come in this bag, and their logo is uh, add some sparkle to your world. So Diamond Art Club is do what makes you sparkle. Diamond Dots is add some sparkle to your world. So it comes in this, in this nice box, or a nice bag. So we'll look at the drills, because the drills, the, the kit is in the drills. The kit is in the drills right here. You can see this is labeled as Dragon Princess, so I know what it's for. Whoop, whoop. And per, these are round drills, by the way. It's a round canvas, round partial canvas, and it's rather large. So I will actually go in here. There's no inventory sheet. Diamond Dots usually doesn't give an inventory sheet. Um, so, we will open it up, okay, so we have your typical kit, we have junk, we have the white placer, or the, um, clear, why does it keep doing that? I don't know why it keeps doing that, there we go, but we have the, um, the white, the white placer pen that sparkles. We have the blue uh, squishy pen grip. We have the little Diamond Dots uh, wax container that they always give you. Oh, this one's interesting. This one 
I don't know if you can see it, the letters on the Diamond Dots little wax container are white for this one. And it has, instead of being like, um, like uh, painted, like a little sticker or whatever painted on, this one's kind of etched in there. That one's kind of cool. I might actually swap out to use this one instead. This one's etched, etched in there. Let me take it out and show you. That's kind of cool. I've never seen one etched. Maybe the expert ones are etched as opposed to um, the other ones. I don't have one, to sh one handy to show you, but like this is etched. You can see I'm scratching it. That is actually etched in there and it says diamond dots. Typical, mine is a little cracked, but it's typical wax. Oh, and that's, that's it. Oh, that's, it. well, that's kind of cool, you guys. Oh, my goodness. So, it's little wax discs. This is really cool. Okay, so little wax discs. And each of the discs has a um, protective covering on it. It has the protective film on it. See that? So, you have two wax discs actually in your little container. And they fit just perfect. So, they actually give you two wax discs for here. And it looks like their Diamond Dots little wax container is etched. That's kind of cool. I may actually be swapping this out for my uh, the other ones that I've been using. That's really cool. But then you get the uh, gray the gray tray with the spout. Kind of surprised they didn't upgrade the trays on this, being expert. But I got the blue squishy, and then they give you some baggies, typical baggies. I don't know that diamond dots like super super etched uh, plastic wax container is kind of cool, huh? Okay, cool. Alrighty then. So I will take out a color of wax drills. Oh my God, you guys! This one has more ABs in it. Oh, I think Stitcherista showed this. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Oh, look at that. You can see how sparkly those ABs. So there's two AB colors that I can see right off the bat. There's this 5002 and 5001. I'm already collecting that. So you can see here, like this number, the bag here has the A10. This corresponds to the canvas. This will tell you A10 is the color. This is the 10th color in the canvas list. And this 5001 here is the diamond dots color code. So all of the AB diamonds for diamond dots are gonna start with five. I've been figuring that out. So um, I am really excited because I announced on a prior video that um, the diamond dots um, company is actually gonna be um, starting to sell their um, diamonds individually. So you can actually buy colors to round out your collection. And they're also going to um, be selling a Diamond Dots code chart. So after, pretty soon here, you'll actually be able to have all the Diamond Dots codes. They use a different numbering system for their colors than um, DMC, the typical DMC numbers. But anyway, um, you will be able to see it. So this, I already have this color the AB color 5001, which is AB white. I already have this color in my stash, so that's kind of nice. And then um, this AB, this 5002, I don't have this color. It's kind of like the aqua, aqua iridescent, and that's just a normal iridescent. So yeah, we have um, we have those. Diamond Dots puts their colors in strips based on the kit that you get. And also the um, the legend in their thing. So I'm just kind of looking at some of these colors. There's a lot of blues, a lot of tans, a lot of browns. Um, ooh, there's a special gem. A couple of special gems, you guys. Look at this. Okay, I don't. I've never had these ones before. So we have this little, these little gems. Look at those. Okay. We have this little teardrop. Oh my God, look at this little teardrop. This little teardrop is so pretty. And then we have these yellow teardrops. These yellow teardrops are so pretty. So pretty. So these, I have special drills. 
So not only do these have AVs, they have special, special, special diamonds. And then we have these yellow round crystals. How exciting! How exciting! That's just a typical color by itself. Oh my goodness, you guys! And the drills are so pretty. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! All right. So exciting! Oh my god! Fun, fun, fun! Can't wait. It's gonna be hard to hard to keep from starting multiple ones. But I've got to finish the one I'm working on first before I start any new ones. So it's going to be hard for me to figure out if I want to do the princess or if I want to do a Jasmine Beckett one. Either the Windswept Fairy or the other one. But I also have the, um, the Four Seasons tree that I kind of need to finish too. Okay. So here we go. We're ready for the canvas now. Let me move that out of the way. So it comes in this baggie and this canvas is really nice the canvas is thick so you see here you have the um, the legend over on this end um, and as you can see the legend also has their diamond dots color number so you have the um, color the color number on the packet the symbol for the um for the diamond painting canvas and then their diamond dots number all of their canvases are going to start having this diamond dots color number here um, and you can see the specialty ones also have their own diamond dots diamond dots code right there so um, here we go I'm not going to be able to get all of this in screen but you'll get the there's the head of the dragon you guys right there this is huge Oh my god, look at her face, you guys. Oh my god, look at that face. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, she's so beautiful. Oh my god, she's so beautiful. Oh my god. So as you unroll it, you also get their how-to sheet. This is their how-to sheet. Oh my god. All right. All right, well, I'm not going to take the time to roll it the other way because I'm sitting down and it's going to be hard for me to do that. But you guys, oh my God, she is so beautiful. My camera. So sorry about that, you guys. My camera was doing wonky things. Anyway, so here she is. She's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. My camera's locked. So sorry about that guys, my camera is kind of locking up and doing wonky things, it's late at night and I think it has to go to bed. Look at that, it's doing it again. Alright, I don't know what... Sorry about that you guys, my camera is doing wonky things. Uh, it's late at night, so anyway, but here she is. So we'll see how the camera works, but the camera is being kind of wonky and it's going to do that again. So yeah, so it's being wonky, so... Alright. Um, anyway, the camera is lagging just a little bit, but, um, anyway, so here is the Diamond Dots Princess. Um, sorry about my camera. My camera's being a little funky. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. So, hi, this is Tina Frazier. I'm sorry about that. My camera was acting kind of wonky. I have the Dragon Princess diamond painting kind of still on my table right here. It is rather large, as you can see. It's pretty big, you guys. Um, I'm excited. I was excited to order this. Um, I was excited when Stitcherista unboxed it. Um, and the night that I watched her unboxing, I actually went, looked for it, ordered it, because I found it for 60, about 65 bucks. Um, so anyway, I will put a link to to it on um, in the description box below. But yeah, so I'm gonna have to piece this together. This uh, unboxing might be a little bit late. I don't know if I'll have the inventory for the other one um, for the um, the bride returns. Um, 
but I may include the inventory for you. I don't know. But um, this one, you don't necessarily have to do the inventory for it. Um, uh, I'm going to do the inventory later, but usually with the Diamond Dots kits, you don't have to do inventory for them because they usually come with all the colors. And if not, you just send an email to the company and um, they'll send you whatever diamonds you need. Oh, I didn't show you the um, how to. The Diamond Dots how to comes in nine languages one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pardon me, ten languages. You get the how to sheet that's rolled up with your diamond painting. So that's kind of nice, kind of handy, I guess, if you need to know your different languages. Um, put this back in here. Kind of roll this back up. Um, yeah, other than that, um, I really don't have anything else for you. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Um, hopefully you've gotten something out of it and hopefully I've showed you something that you want to get. Um, thanks to Diamond Dots for making this beautiful kit. I'm looking forward to doing that. So, um, I will call this night. Um, it's a little after midnight now after I got done doing this all this unboxing. I'm going to have to, um, take a night later this week and, um, kind of do the, uh, do the editing for the video and put everything together. I'm sorry my camera punked out. It's this one here. It kind of punked out for you towards the end there. Um, probably just got a little overheated, a little overused. So um, anyway, I will call it a day. Um, I don't know when my next installment for diamond painting will be. Um, but yeah, so diamond dots um, and the moon zero hater store hider store on aliexpress um they did a really good job i'll probably be um uh, earmarking that company and ordering some more of their canvases they have some more jasmine beckett griffith ones on there that i'll probably be ordering um because of the quality and the fact that they gave me extra bags of drills do you believe that they gave me extra bags of drills so anyway um that is all i have for you tonight um i'm gonna kind of wrap this up I'm going to head on out. Just keep on keeping on because that's all we can do. Um, be nice to each other. Um, don't try and stress over the Notre Dame or Notre Dame Cathedral fire that happened today. Um, I'm sure the world is mourning. I'm kind of mourning my own way. Um, so you can watch my um, next installment of floss tube to find out how I'm going to memorialize it. Um, cause I, I do have a, a cross stitch piece that I'm, that I purchased today for that. So, um, kind of keep that on your radar and, um, we will see you soon. Take care and, uh, have fun diamond painting you guys until next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>